Welcome to the Awaken Energy. I'm Skeed and this energy transfer session to help awaken your spiritual energy. This is Kundalini Activation Energy. Some people so miscall it Kundalini Awakening Energy. Yes, it can awaken your Kundalini. You have to do specific things with it to be able to do that. So, just connect to the energy. My hands. You're unsure how to do this. And just reach out. Feeling of like when you have a best friend and you see them. Sort of you bump into them in the street and that sort of energy you have that you send out when you see them. It's the same thing to connect to this energy. So once you've connected to the energy, just let your mind be free. You have a monkey mind, two ways to do this. Either concentrate on the spaces between the thoughts, or just breathe in and out, gently and smoothly, with no pauses at the top or the bottom. And this will also help to slow and stop that monkey mind because the thoughts come in the pauses. Just connect now. And take the energy and let it combine with your energy. This spiritual energy, your spiritual body. It also works on other levels, physical body, the mental body, all energetic bodies. Because when we touch one body, it affects them all. The astral body, the etheric body. But the spiritual energy. It's a nice way to really think about it. We call it pranic energy. When we shift it, Shakti energy. Quantum healing. But to give it a name in English, yes, we could call it universal life force energy, vital life force energy. We could also call it spiritual energy very healing and soothing energy it can help melt away the energy blockages you have and help you raise your vibration and align the chakras and open the chakras with it we call them chakras or plexuses balance the glands within our body Clear the blockages from our meridian systems. There are so many ways to describe this depending on the culture we use. That's why it can get so confusing as to what it is. I talk about this in my other videos if you want to know more about what it is, just watch the other videos, connect with the other sessions, get little other nuggets of information along the way, if you're interested. It's a very powerful energy. I've said before, this energy is not Reiki energy. I also do Reiki. Reiki master. But it's very different. It's a very soft, gentle energy. This is gentle. If you connect to it well, you feel how powerful it is. We just know a little bit more about me. 
you can go to my webpage at awakenenergy.com and just check the about section there. I mean, I'm also a Raja Yoga teacher, I've been for many years. Which obviously, Raja Yoga includes breath work and pranayama. I've also studied many, many different facets. Trying to learn different things. From the simple hypnotherapy. Language control of NLP. So yoga, breath work. Studied them. Various different types. I like to call breath work, say. Breathwork isn't pranayamas. The only people that say that are the people who have studied breathwork and not pranayamas. Because clearly they are the same when you've studied pranayamas. And I've studied tantra, not modern tantra, so traditional tantra. Where the origins of yoga come from. Of course, the origins of Tantra come from Shakti. Because when you receive this energy, this is Shakti, that energy, when you receive it, you can go into Mudras, the hand positions, and spontaneous asanas, the yoga postures, and even spontaneous pranayamas when we get to light body activation. So these were studied and studied and eventually practices formed from Tantra into yoga. Over the years, this information got lost. And the knowledge was kept to a select few special knowledge, special, 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 special abilities. Sometimes when the energy is moving, It's hard to talk. So there are, obviously, in the Tibetan traditions, in the Hindu traditions, the gurus. But it's not just them. Shamans around the world that also have these abilities. Said they were common, we don't know for sure, within the Druids. <clears throat> Egyptian priests and priestesses. What Hekka is all about. Ancient Egyptian traditions of Hekka. It's in the Persian cultures, Zoroastrian, I said that correctly, priests, whatever you want to call them. Many places. Some cultures like to think their culture is special and it's theirs. It's not. It's everywhere. be initiated into these to gain the ability to do it. And you can also gain it through practices. It takes many years, but you can gain it through practices of Kundalini Yoga or Kriya Yoga as well. You can be born naturally with the abilities to send energy and receive energy. The true empath, not the social media empath, the true empath. That's what this really is. The ability to send and receive energies. When untrained, 
an ember. Give me a bit of a nightmare. When trained, you're a powerful thing. And this is why it's almost best to just call this a spiritual energy. Take it to the world of magic too, if we wish. Of course, no one is needed. It doesn't mean to say that if you don't have the right type of material and crystals, they can't be charged and used. With this energy, just as water can be. There's more little nuggets of information about this energy. As we connect here, you raise your vibration. I know some people prefer to turn the volume down, especially if they're watching this more than once. But they can just sit, receive the energy without having to listen to me and all these little nuggets of information again. It's fine. I know other people say, but I really like the, the music you have underneath, so I want to listen to that at the same time. The music is my own creation as well. I have two music channels. Magic Music, Skeed, Dreamy Freedom, sort of like the shamanic style music, and the other is more the etheric music. If you wish to turn down the volume of me talking, you do this practice, receive the energy. You can tune into those channels and put the music on there. And that music isn't just music. Years of research in there. Within the music, there are special isochronic tones. Tones last for an hour. They can take you, they are designed to take you on a journey to a waking dream state. So perhaps you may wish to a playlist of these videos, turn the volume down, put music on for an hour, or just right click the play button or hit the settings button and find where it says loop, press loop so you can loop this for as long as you wish, whilst listening to one of the tracks for a very, very deep session. If you do this under your own responsibility, as always, the only person responsible for your life is you. Notice this is a spiritual energy. You can get to a point where it raises your Kundalini. Or spiritual awakenings, Kundalini awakenings. So do your research about all those things before you undertake anything like that. Because you need to clear your ego and all your fears. Stop having any problems that can arise. No, there are phases to go through that need to be passed to rather than attached to. To not cause any problems. Hope you've enjoyed this session today and found the information useful. Namaste.